today I just want to really quickly show you something that you might not be aware of when it comes to D16's Falcion. Um, you need to be using the VST version of the plugin for this to happen. But if you have the VST version installed, uh, I'm on a Mac right now, but you can do this on either a PC or a Mac. And install your uh, plugin on a MIDI channel. Make sure it's the VST version, and I'll show you why that is later. And then you can set up another plugin. Uh, and what you can do is you can set the input from that for that plugin to be coming from Falcion. Um, so you'll set that input here uh, so that my additional plugin, the secondary plugin, which is the M1 in this case, is getting its MIDI input from Falcion. And then you also need to, under this post effects channel here, select once again Falcion. The very last thing you need to do is make sure that that second MIDI channel is enabled for record. So now when I trigger Fosion, it will play back, it'll send its MIDI out to the secondary plugin, and it's a nice way of stacking a plugin with exactly the same pattern as what you have in Fosion, and getting some sort of neat textures that'll go along with it. So we'll hit play and you'll hear what I'm talking about. <laughs> So you can hear that this M1 is playing a pattern that goes along really nicely on a vector pad is the setting here with the original acid line. And you look on the keys here, you can see that the keys are moving around and playing back that acid line. You can just browse through some patches here and you can get a sense of what kind of effects you might be able to get with these. Some of them are going to work nicer than others, obviously. So let's try a sparkling pad. So nice and subtle there. Let's try a, this chord split. Well, that's kind of an interesting effect. Then obviously you can go back in here into Fosion and play around with the resonance and so forth. And So there it is, it's almost a, a completely different type of pattern that you might not expect would come from this plugin. Uh, and you can, you know, get really creative with some of the layering. Incidentally, you can do this sort of MIDI stacking um, in Ableton very easily um, and send MIDI from one to another. But it often is the case that it needs to be the VST version, and that has to do with VST plugins uh, transmitting MIDI in a different way. Let's try one more patch here. Okay, so that's it. Um, I'll put some instructions in the uh, text version of this, uh, the text description. But once again, to run through it very quickly, you're going to install Fosion. Make sure that it's a VST version. Install a second plugin on an additional MIDI channel. Make sure that you select Fosion as the inputs for that MIDI channel. And make sure that the secondary channel is set into record. So that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you come up with some great sounds using this technique.